What is the scientific significance of solar eclipses? Solar eclipses have contributed to the birth of solar physics. Subsequently, they have led to understanding of our own Earth. In the last 300 years, eclipses have provided enough opportunities for us to understand the structure of the Sun. When the moon completely blocks the sun, the visible disk called the photosphere is covered. We know from physics that it is at a temperature of 6000 Kelvin. The outer regions are called chromosphere which appears like a pink ring at total eclipse. Then we have the corona which extends to millions of kilometers and at a very high temperature of almost a million Kelvin. Charged particles, ions and electrons are ejected from the sun at very high speeds. This constitutes the solar wind. The energetic particles of the solar wind travel to the earth and we are protected from them by the magnetic field shields. However, they are guided by the magnetic lines of force and manage to shower at the polar regions creating beautiful aurora, which are ionized molecules of our own atmosphere. The corona and the chromosphere become visible only during total eclipse. In the early part of the 20th century and 19th century, people used to travel to remote places, erect tents, camps, so that they can observe the corona and chromosphere during the eclipse. The element helium was discovered during a total solar eclipse. Because they found it on the sun, it was called helium. It is interesting that the helium discovery was done on the Indian soil during the total solar eclipse of August 18th in 1868. Various camps were set up along the path of the shadow to observe the total eclipse. There were camps at Machalipatnam, Guntur, Jamakhandi and so on and they observed the spectrum of the eclipsed sun. The spectrum of the sun has dark lines which are called Fraunhofer lines. They appear at specific wavelengths based on which the different elements can be identified. During the total solar eclipse, they identified an extra line which was later attributed to helium. The total solar eclipse of May 1919 has been considered a very important event. It was during this eclipse that the prediction of the theory of relativity was verified. It predicted that a star at a position A appears to be at position A dash, the shift being caused by the intervening mass of the sun. This was verified and it was a triumph of the Einstein's theory. The surface of the moon is not smooth. It has mountains and valleys. Therefore, to predict the limb at the time of the annular or total eclipse is a challenge and the observations are carried out and later it, the theoretical predictions are verified. In this annular eclipse and the total eclipse, they provide excellent opportunities for verification of the calculations concerning the limb profile of the moon. Eclipses have provided a very important mechanism to understand the ionosphere of our own Earth. Radio waves are reflected, transmitted through the ionosphere in different ways during the night and during the day. And it was possible to verify the theories concerning this during total solar eclipses.